not gonna be like, hey, so how does it feel to be a surgeon? And you're like, well, I'm not a doctor. Uh, you know, we're not gonna ask doctor questions because you're not a doctor. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. So it's just learning the the basics. Okay. But it's lear- like I love it because I feel like I learn from the guest, and then the guest learn from us, and then you know. So I I, I speak more the business side mm-hmm. because of, I've been. I speak more. I had zero, right? Mm-hmm. Broke in the street, and then now I have three different businesses, and we're growing and learning. So that's where I share my info. He's more a designer, so he shows from the creative designing side of his perspective, things like that. And you're more a creator. Yeah, I'm in the branding space. Branding. So you would um, you would make everything bad look good. That's yeah, right. I true. make I make stuff look good. Mm. Except, except for us on the podcast. <laughs> you, you can't fix what we look like. <laughs> that what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah. My life is going that bad way. So I'm trying to fix it. And like I said, don't feel pressured. There's, we're still babies in the podcast. There's not half the world's not looking at us. Okay. Yeah, we only have like one or two viewers that are watching. And we're live. We're back. We're with back. With another episode of Living the Dream with Louise and Ray. We're back at another episode, and today we have a special guest, um, Gabriel, who is a specialist in money laundering. Not that he does it, but he helps. The dream with he helps uh, banks and helps to identify. And he has a lot of experience, and he's here to show us. And he's also um, has a long journey from um, being an immigrant, as as myself and as race parents me me as well <laughs> <laughs> me too i consider myself ray considers him, himself i, I am full american. mexican and then now i'm mexican american right so, yeah so I've, I've transitioned over i'm not fully like luis is full luis is 100 percent, right 100 percent what immigrant yes and now switched over officially american officially are yes. you do you consider yourself american yes we talked about I, that i took the pledge you so it's like you know, I swear, I, I, I did a, sw- a swear. In. Oh, you do that? Yep. So I think that's, you know, you're born here. Yeah, I, you're American. But, you know, whenever you're an immigrant, you understand what it means to be an American. Not that you mm-hmm. don't, but like you have to go through a process. You have to get, you know, your citizenship. You have to wait. You have to go to the government. You have to take a test. You have to study to become an American and uh yeah so you you, you become it oh wow i didn't know that i didn't know that either yeah yeah interesting I, like me yeah. i was just so born it's like a graduation like you know there's like a large auditorium with like you know five six hundred people in there and everyone's doing their swearing to become an american and you you pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states it's the, it's the other hand sir it's oh. the right hand over the heart sir yeah and then okay that's and interesting then, um yeah, so it, it, I mean, a lot of people know, but a lot of people don't know, right? Right. You can change your name whenever you become an American citizen. Um, so I dropped my second last name. So in Mexico, they give us two last names, right? Your mom's, uh, your your dad's name and your mom's name. And then I was like, well, my name is, you know, four names, and it's like that's too long. So I took down. What was, what was the full name before? Luis Miguel Martinez Barron. Sheesh. That's Luis a long Miguel. one. <laughs> yeah, it's a so now it's like Luis Miguel Martinez, and I was like, man, I should have just dropped my middle Miguel. name too, because yeah. nobody dropped nobody. nobody. I asked my wife, hey, why don't you call me my middle name? She's like, I don't know who that is. Miguel, I'm gonna start calling you Miguel. <laughs> this is gonna be the Living the Dream with Miguel and Ray podcast. I think I like that better. Yeah. Well, I, I give my kids a middle name. Did you? Mm. No. Yeah. Middle names? Would you? Do you guys? You get, your kids have middle names? Yeah. Yeah. So I, they will name after my name. Oh. And then. So they're juniors. Them. Yeah. They become junior. Oh, okay. And but we also have a um, a special episode today because today I don't have an iPad. I don't have a switcher. And right now we have our own very own um, Jamie. His, not, his name's not Jamie. His name's Dwayne. But he's mm-hmm. off camera and he's helping us yes. do the switch. Shout and I say out. Jamie because that's who helps Joe Rogan on right. the podcast. Joe Rogan. Who is that guy? Never heard of Joe Rogan. And um, Dwayne is is mic'd up too. So uh, if you guys hear any uh, any a third other voice. a third voice, a fourth voice, it's it's um, 
Dwayne, sorry. I, I called you Jamie again. It's all right. It's Jamie. <laughs> we'll call him D. Can we call you D? Ooh, uh, yeah, no, that's fine. No, just, <laughs> all right, so welcome. How do you feel today? Um, good morning, everyone. Um, I very, um, you know, I just can't thank you enough to give me this opportunity to talk about I mean everything. I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we'll just picked him off off the street. We said, "Hey, man, yeah. you want a podcast?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it." And he just showed up. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like um, I wish that could happen every day. So everyone just uh, pick me on the street and saying, <laughs> um, "Come, come talk." Yeah. So, yeah. So, I personally, I very um happy to be here today okay and um you know i'm just can't wait can't wait to, to talk to about everything it. <laughs> That's good. yeah so kind of just a quick story how it happened we we run into you in the gym right well you've known luis and giovanni mm-hmm. for, known giovanni right we, we know you through giovanni through yeah. giovanni so mm-hmm. so yesterday we were at the gym and we're like hey you want to come on the podcast and you're like sure so here we are but actually i feel like we should have a very good interesting uh show because what we talked about before we learned a little bit so you're in the what would the department be called the money laundering department or like financing department or what department is it that you really like so how the would bank, you describe uh, it the bank they normally showing you what you what they want to show you mm-hmm. so basically we have different department just behind the doors so we will have like the teller basically tell her doing on the money yeah and counting money and putting the money into the system or telling you how much money you got right but behind the door so we call money intelligence system so what we do we trace money we want to know what you're going to use that money for we want to know who gave you that money but you never know what we do Mm. Okay. So, <laughs> when when I when I listen and I hear money laundering, I think of the Ozark. Have you seen, have you seen that? Yeah. Or you know about it? So basically, the movie just um, you know, based on the true story. But I can't tell you much, and um, that's it. Everything we do every day. Right. Work. It's it's figuring out, kind of like so. You know what? I've seen the first two se- first season of the Ozark, and yeah, so they have to like set up a farm and they have to like their contractors and they're building all these uh you know things and they're running the money through the, through those systems right That's but right. they do that here in the states too like they, they, they say there's like a lot of high ri- high rises in uh in new york um mm-hmm. that are empty because they're just used for money laundering like somebody just built them to dump a bunch of money in there but there's really nobody to living there because mm. you know i don't know why but that that's like one thing that they use it for i had no idea i didn't know about that and that's one thing i, I didn't understand because when i was watching the episode right so and i mean we've hear about this in the news all the time the cartels and this and that you know moving money but i didn't i, I always thought it's only the cartels doing stuff like that but then i've realized that it's it, money laundering can be from something small to building a big big building and moving the money around so do you guys um does that department look at everybody's money even like personal accounts <laughs> yes yes oh, wow because uh, i think isn't there like a, a rule that's like as long as you deposit less than like nine thousand they're never gonna know wow look like you know what you're talking about <laughs> um so we we're going to give um a customer Roughly mm. idea what you should and should not. So I'm gonna tell you, okay, you're gonna put in whatever money into your account because that's your money. Right. So we have no right to tell you what to do. So you can put in the, into the bank like, you know, nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Mm. Yeah, buddy. Right. Right. That's under ten thousand. I going to approve you. Like, okay, he clean. Mm-hmm. All right, you got nothing to do. Well, hold on a second. So you in my record. So if you're doing that every day, and you make, you know, you're gonna add it up into thirty thousand dollars a month. 
Yep, I'm gonna flag you. Right. And next month you're gonna do that again. Then you're gonna be watch out. And then and then the, your goal is to figure out where it's coming from. And I think. Oh, I knew it. Yeah. I knew. Th- I knew. I already knew what and where and how. Well, how? Without telling you. Wow, that's awesome. How do they know all that without <laughs> um, with just a cash deposit? Is it because it's traceable, right? So like me, 20 to 25, I was making 30000 a year, right? I'm just throwing numbers. And then out of nowhere, now I'm depositing 5000 you know, a month. And then the next year, I'm depositing 20 30 a month. So then you're like, okay, Ray's system, when he turned 18 and he became an adult, his deposits were here out of nowhere became a stripper he's making these deposits right so i think that's kind of like what you guys look for in the random right but if i naturally grow right as my Mm -hmm. business is growing or whatever then maybe it's not flagged as much or i i agree with that yeah so in fact we we have a customer seen a before the age and when it grew up so that's a very lucky to have that customer mm-hmm. because we can we can watch the steps. But what if Louise worked into the bank today and saying I'm thirty five years old man, I'm on a business. Right. I want to open a business account. Mm-hmm. So with business account we have roughly idea how much Louis gonna put in money into the bank every day and how he gonna pay for any you know, any expenses or based on what, like data? Based on the data, we only got it. We only built the data mm. like 100 years back. Mm. And we knew. So we knew what the supermarket going to make every day. Based mm. on relative data, I based g- on g- where it fits in the market. Right, right. So I guess like... Like me as a designer, you can't go in there and say, oh, I'm going to be making $10 million. Because based on the other million designers before you, how much they made is going to be about what you're going to make. And then... Um, what they're going to spend on because right. with the designer we don't spend how much on petrol we're going to spend how much to upgrade the reading card to upgrade on the computer right so we're not gonna we're not going to consider any expensive on that mm. but what if you're gonna pay for this you know say mm. you know i'm going to las vegas for the for a trip but i see you paying a lot of money into the casino so basically, Louis is going to, you know, use that money into the chips at the casino mm, to right. clean his money. Then we're going to flat the whole thing. Oh, okay, okay. But is it just based on that business account? What if I have multiple accounts, like, spread out? We don't talk. We already know. Huh? We will talk about that inside the bank. Like, hey, this guy has, mul- and then, so uh, so all my business and all my bank's accounts are public records? Yes. We all see it. Damn immigration <laughs> immigration department see it. We see it in the government, in the White House, we see it. And we also see it in the Connecting International Bank. So that's why I moved here. And you moved here from? From another bank. So you work so with, like, the international as well yes so my job is i i used to i used to at the you know works at the normal teller Mm -hmm. and then my background is i i am the financial advice so basically on on about the money i can give you what to to do with your money but now i have no idea to tell you what to do with your money yeah because like it's not what i expected for now Mm, interesting so they're watching everything dang yes. it I thought nobody knew that I have like another little bank account over there and, and small bank so what about like if your business is all cash I think I know how much cash roughly you're holding right now <laughs> no cash <laughs> yes all that everything everything Jesus. so what um, what do you but what do you think? Why we can, we we can get the house so easy here? A house? Yeah, like you can loan a house so easy. Why the bank just you know give it to you? Just give it to you. So they keep track of you and what yes. you're spending. Yes. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> so 
I got to give you a、um, just very briefly idea about how money laundry is.、Mm -hmm. We are laundering money every day right now. Who's we? We mean you, me, your kids, your wife, and everyone just using the cash and、mm -hmm. saying because it's safe. I don't want that to be in packed into my my you know my clean face with the government.、Mm -hmm. Oh, you know? oh, oh! It's a scenario. Let's say、yeah. everyone is lo money laundering, and yeah, then we don't want、right. the government to、yes. to look into it. Okay. And that's that's a how money laundering idea is. We don't we don't want them to trace our money. Right. Right. Okay. So when it come to when it come to a a bank, we look into every dollar very seriously. So, if I put into the bank one hundred dollar today. And I would draw that tomorrow, so you got no problem because that my money that's under ten thousand dollars. Right. So、mm -hmm. why you have the problem? No, no one have problem with you spending your own money. Right. But we have the problem how you use it and where you would draw your money. Okay. How? Why is there a problem with that? So like I said, they want to know what you're doing because they want to learn, and then they want to protect. Themselves, not us.、Pre、they want to、uh, the banks want to protect themselves from people、mm. that are doing bigger yes bigger money laundering. That's right, because they they might get into the government will come into like hey why you let Louise withdraw one hundred dollars consistently every day? Why he did that? Why you didn't report to us?、Mm -hmm. And so, now Luis is like, and with him doing that, then he might be up to something else, or that money might be going somewhere else that's no longer traceable. That's right. And then he was saying, "Okay, Luis, um, gonna tell a tax office saying I'm making lots because I spending too much." And then they're like,、uh, okay. "Give me your bank record." Yeah, the bank saw Lichman saying he withdraw cash one hundred dollars every day, but it aren't add up. Three thousand a month, right? And then it's about so whenever you thirty six thousand a year a year. So whenever you with, tax. whenever you withdraw that money, and you have it in cash, then it's like it's out of the bank's right bank's sight. Like the bank can't see it, right?、Mm -hmm. Were you wondering like why the bank want to know your marriage status? It's another. It's another data point, right? Yeah, and why they gonna、um, encourage you to open your kids' saving account to start tracking? And then why they gotta give your kids' saving account free? Hide you more than normal person, so you can put more money in there, and they know where your money's going. Damn it! So what if you don't have any bank accounts and it's all cash? Um. So we're not living American dream then. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. So let's say he takes out a thousand dollars. He goes and spends it at the donut place, right. right? The donut place never puts it in the bank, and then the donut place goes spends it on gym equipment.、Mm -hmm. Right. At what point is it like? How do you guys track it back, or how do you know? Luis spent a thousand at the donut place, and now the donut owner spent it on something else. If it never went into your system, so that、um, so that become the donut place problem. Because Luis only wash his money into that place, and we wanna trace out what's the relationship between Luis and、uh, the donut place.、Mm. So I gotta give you the、um, examples what happened to the donut place、mm. after that one thousand did not. Showed up in his、um, bank account. First, we're gonna shut his POS system.、Mm. Second, we're gonna ask where the money, because at the LLC, which is in America,、mm -hmm. as my understanding, you need to disclose every money, and you need to tax on everything to the tax office. Right. So my job. Just to encourage you doing the right thing.、Hmm. So, but, but you don't know that Luis went to the donut place. I don't know. I gonna, I gonna like, I gonna wonder. I gonna like, oh, 
you know, we're at 1,000. Right, and then uh, the donor place went to the gym equipment place and bought cash yeah. equipment. So basically, we lost trace between donor place and the gym. gym. Right. And we have no connection. Right. But don't but forget, we have system. System mean never forget. System <laughs> all the way there. So it will, it will hold that information until it's time to bring it back up. The time will come because you're gonna be caught you're up. You're gonna mess up again. You're gonna mess up again. And then it's like, then it's like, dot 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 dot, and everything is like, no connection, no connection, no connection, and then you mess up, and it's like, do 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 do. It's on connect, and so everything's gonna connect, and yeah. then you're in handcuffs and going so to jail. So going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not we're not going to say that bad because we're not gonna spend that a million dollars. Or um, something. Right, right, right. But <clears throat> we don't wanna be. A bad person to our kid. Just in future, we're gonna be rich. We're gonna own a lot of properties, and it's just one minor problem in the past, mm -hmm. and they don't try back, and you're gonna <coughs> lose everything. Right. So that's it. How <coughs> much important money laundry is? You need makes, to understand. I guess that makes sense because, for instance, like where, where now that I have the storage right. Um, like Theo has told me before, like make sure that all the businesses that you do um, stay legitimate because if something goes bad, they they blame it on all your stuff, right? So it's the same thing with like with narcos or whatever. Like the wife might start a real business and she's doing good, but because she's married to him, they're going to assume that that business was from the drug money or whatever. So then everything starts to go down. So I ask you that because... I know this person, right? So, like the gaming machines, the gambling machines, you know what those are, Luis? <coughs> those pinging machines? Yeah. Right? So, I have a friend that opened three gas stations. And he opened them. He worked hard, saved his money, opened gas station. And then he put machines in there, right? But then later, he was arrested. I was like, hey, D, why were you arrested? And not this D, by the way, just make sure. Um, um, and he's like, oh, no, this and that. He's like, and they, they're trying to take my gas station away. And I was like, why? And he's like, well, because the gaming machine, since it's cash and it's money not reported, <clears throat> they assume that he bought his gas stations with that money. And he's like, no, but those gas stations I bought with my money. And I'm like, but I was like, oh, so like this was like probably 10 years, oh, like five years back, right before I opened the smoke shop. And then so then I started learning that, like, right. So he did three good stores work hard save his money but now that he's doing the gaming machines now everything's in question like you said for one decision now everything is wondering well where'd you get the money for the gas station where'd you get this where'd you get that yeah so it's a sad story but it's happened to it can be happened to everyone every day so who's the most uh likely like who is the most uh like likely to be Money laundering, like is it the small businesses, is it the big businesses, medium businesses, big banks, corporations, or who do you, who everybody. are you guys looking for? Everybody? We don't looking for everybody. Everybody looking for us. Oof, I like that. What do you mean? I, like, so they're not out looking for people. People doing it are making themselves pop up in the system. Okay, um, mm. you know, I give you're looking you, out for. Everyone's looking out for the people that are after that's right saying you go into the club you wanna you wanna you wanna dress good you wanna um, you wanna look so smell good right gotta give yourself a best impression to, right to one of the girls in the club mm -hmm. why you do that why why you do that to get the girls to attract to look better yeah to look nice yeah that's how you do it to the bank you attract us you try to get attention from us. Mm. That's how makes sense. So it's like like they always say, right? If 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 my business is doing fifty thousand, a hundred thousand a year, and then I go buy a half a million dollar house, mm -hmm. then the system would be like, how is this guy buying a half a million dollar house? And it's not like they were looking for me. Like me, me doing whatever I might be doing makes the flag go out and be like. So, so like, we never want to make 
trouble. We we're not gonna make people life harder, but we're just trying to make everything so easier for everyone. Mm. But no, we try to make money on everyone money. So that's why money laundry. Like that's how the bank system work. So the bank is basically um, looking out for itself and money laundering. They lose money on that, right? Yes. So what they want to do is they want to. It's all about profits, right? They want to profit off of your money rather than you not, rather than not profiting off of your money. Correct. I agree. Yeah. So, and I, th I think that's the same and thing. That's with their the motivator, right? That's the, that's the motivator. And I think the the IRS is part of it too, because like you said earlier, if you're not paying the taxes, you have to somebody has to pay the taxes on that. And once you skip it around, the IRS says, "Hey, that thousand dollars to the donor shop was not reported." But what about what about um, like m billionaires and millionaires who don't pay um, income tax or that don't pay? You know how. Donald Trump was asked, like, on this year, you didn't pay any income tax. And he's like, that's correct. Neither did you or you or you. Nobody in here paid income tax because that's how the system works. I think um, that's how you can get away with it. So, right. so, so how can you get away with it legally? So for the American tax, I'm not really familiar with mm. as yet. Okay, but as my understanding, my personal experience, we always try to get away with income tax because we're trying to make all the money. You know, we're trying to get all the money we make right, right. in our pocket. Right. So it's like like I explained to you, right? So, and if I make a hundred thousand dollars in the year, right, and let's say fifty five hundred thousand, where where am I? Fifty thousand is profit. I have to pay taxes on that. And the government's, the bank has seen where I buy stuff. So instead, I'm going to go now buy two vans, put my logos on them for marketing, use them for the business. But now I, I don't pay taxes on that 50 because I spent 40 of it on vehicles. Right. But as long as I showed the, as long as the bank system shows that I can afford that, all that money was reported, it was into the bank, then I'm okay. Right. And then you end up paying zero income tax, but it's not money laundering. No. It's not. It's about tax invasion. Uh, and that's different. That's <laughs> different. That's another thing. <laughs> that's a very, very, very interesting. Um, so tax evasion is related. Very well. related and very, very familiar with money laundering. Mm. Yes. Hmm. But with tax invasion, we take it more seriously. We will strip off everything from your bank and we turn for that money to the tax office just to assist them with the tax invasion issue before we can... So what is them. tax evasion? Tax invasion, to my understanding, does say you don't want to pay tax. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's like, how are, how are people doing it? You know? People would like... Um, we would like to, you know, to have fun with the money. Mm. We would like to enjoy the money, like right. I do. Right. right, right. Everybody does. Isn't Everybody that what does. It is? That's it. But with tax invasion, I think one hundred dollar we make, mm -hmm. we don't want to pay zero income tax, but we have to. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we couldn't. We couldn't get a house. We couldn't get a car. We just can't have what we want in life right but for rich people they can get away with a million dollars with tax right and they're still legally living so how how can we do it that that make a hundred dollars um in australia we 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 have a pathway to do and we can pay income tax later saying hey in 10 years big we will pay i promise <laughs> Okay, so it's not America. a promise. <laughs> <laughs> but I think like we can, um, in America, you can do like exchange um, value the house, saying you can buy a house and you can do W1031. So correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not. So there is the um, exchange uh, value the house, saying we buy the house. We bought a house for $300,000 mm -hmm. and we pay for $400,000. Yeah. We make $100,000 dollars okay profit. profits mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So you have to pay tax on that uh, $100,000 yeah. profit. But I don't have to. Because I can exchange you another half of four hundred thousand right. dollars, I can pay it later, and then I keep getting richer, oh, and richer okay, okay. every time. Yeah. So those taxes keep going up and up, up yeah. and up, but you never pay them because they're in the future. Yes, until my retirement, I have my retirement tax. I yeah. don't have to pay nothing because whatever property I invest is still there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My house is still living in it. But now I can't pay anything because I'm out. And then that's another issue. <laughs> nice. Yeah, because I've learned that, right? So what the people that do those with those houses, the, you have to pay money on the profit that you gain. Right. But if you use this, what I've told you, is like with the businesses, if I use that money and then I buy more, then that money didn't come to my pocket. That money went to another business or went to another thing. Right. So right. how can the government tax me? If you never pulled it out. That's yeah. right. Because they, the money is still sit there, mm-hmm. and the money is still sitting in the bank. So is it? Is it? Um, I mean, I, I get it, but what's the reasoning behind all that? Like, it, do they just not want you to spend the money, and they want you to move the money around and create businesses, create um, more businesses, so more things can be taxed? That's a good thing of it. Yeah. That's how smart intelligence. Correct. So I, I think that's the idea. So the way a basic concept that I've heard is, right, if if you start a business, you're giving people jobs. Right. Right. So then now the government doesn't have to try to worry about these three people, food stamps or, or whatever, like helping them out because you're giving them. So now you get incentives um, as the business owner because mm-hmm. you're employing people. So then the government's like, okay, so we'll give you some breaks because – you're helping us from not having to pay out money. You're doing you're doing it for us or whatever. Right. But so they but keep they also you can't pull the money out because then they you can't help them with that. But how much money you wanna pull out? You're not gonna spend a million dollars a day. Bet. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so so that's the thing. It's like, um, why if it's you know if it's my money, why can't I spend it a million dollars a day? Because it's not your money. What do you mean? It's not your money. Who, whose money is it? Then? The IRS's money. Okay. So then they want to cut, baby. Uncle Sam said, "Hey." So we want to cut. Yeah. Oh. Mm. So out of the million, how like there oh, was the taxes, right? Yeah, they yeah, they, they want to yeah. cut. Yeah. So, so back so to the tax evasion <laughs> is like, instead of pulling out a million dollars and paying tax, then you move it somewhere else. Mm-hmm. So. The first thing you come to the bank saying, I want to withdraw $1 million now. Sorry, Flags. we don't have no money now. Flags all over the place. <laughs> right. Can you wait until tomorrow or 10 days until the money come? Yeah. Yeah, that's my money. Why can't I do it? Why can't I withdraw it right now? Because we're not right. keeping the money in right, one right. place for $1 million. In 10 days. Right. So what's going to happen? You, they're going to call you. Hey, come look at these accounts. Mm-hmm. And then why do you have a million dollars? You're just a designer. You're just donut. maybe yeah. Maybe they um they wouldn't ask you why you why you're gonna have that money, but they're gonna flag the whole system. They're gonna talking to their friends mm. and talking to the best mate in um, you know whatever department mm-hmm. and on eyes on you because now you got smell so good. You, right, your you're impression attracted. is you're just attractive. so attractive. Yeah. And I don't care how you look like, but you're rich. Mm. And then I want to say what's going on. I want to say, is it any cyber crime going mm. around? Is there any criminal happening to you? Or mm. we want to know what's happening. Right. Mm. Well, let's say I want to buy a billion dollar ranch. Let's say I I've, I've want all my money legit mm-hmm. and I want to pull out a million dollars. I mean, we have properties here worth more than that yeah. in mm-hmm. Texas. Two million, three million. There's houses in Houston that are, right. s- you know, four million. What? Yeah. But I think, but then now they know where the money went. So Luis got out beautiful to buy this property. Okay, here's a property. So right. that's where it went. It didn't go anywhere else. He wasn't, they weren't doing fraud on him. He wasn't, So they want to know, know where it's him. going? Yeah. So the whole, the whole idea of this um, department, correct, because we want to know what's happening. 
Oh, okay. And so then once you know, you relax. Yeah. So <laughs> everyone would have like everyone nowadays saying this month, people talking about bridge money, people talking about US dollar, people talking about South African mm -hmm. country pop out from nowhere, and now they, they become the strongest countries in the world. And yeah. They they cooperate with. Um, Brazil, Russia, Russia, Russia Brics. China, Brics. Yeah. Yeah. that's priest, mm. that priest nation. They have so much money. They have so much, you know, power. And they can invade the U.S. tomorrow. It's just a theory. Mm -hmm. But why the U.S. is the strongest country in the past 200 years and we are still leading the world? So I just... Tell everyone, just hold on to it. I moved here for a reason. Oof. I knew, I only knew about bridge. We only learned about it. And maybe it's for some people, we don't have no idea what's going on. We're still struggling how to build business tomorrow. We're still struggling how we're going to get more customers, making more US dollars. And tomorrow it becomes the paper currency. No, it's not. Because we not standing here and just letting people attack um, the U.S. citizens. Right. Mm. So we just kind of relax. We still have bread tomorrow for the next 50 years. Oof. But we struggle because we, we have no decision to be made. We just sit here and wait for the government doing something to us. Right. And they're like, yeah, you can sit and relax. You know, just just, just living work. your dream, just work. Oof. Because whatever happened, we safe. So the BRICS, um, that's that's uh, several countries, you know, gathering together, and they're saying that they're all gonna use the same dollar, or they, or they're gonna give, are they gonna use a pre currency? Mm -hmm the dollars going to be invalid in that nation group oh so they can't use it in that group they no. don't want to use it in that they group. don't want to use it that's the whole reason cut cut us off mm -hmm. so we can't trade or or we can't do commerce there we c or, or what does that mean i guess it's is it maybe kind of like if someone from mexico comes here and just tries to pay with the peso right they can't use that yeah but the American dollar, I mean, you could go anywhere and you could Not use it. You can't go here. You won't be able to go here no more. You can't. So they're the maps. And mm -hmm. you you can't trade or do anything with the um, U.S. dollar. So you have to trade it into their currency. currency. So that means that you have to exchange it for their currency. And their currency might be a little bit higher um, or value more. And your dollar is not worth as much as theirs. And now you're feeding into that mm -hmm. system, buying buying their money, their mm, currency. Because yes. I know some people have made a lot of money doing tur uh, currency trading. Currency exchange, yeah. Um, and that fluctuates a lot, right? So that's that's there's money to be made too there. Uh, uh, now I'm scared now that he's here. Because <laughs> I, I was telling my in-laws, hey, I don't know, I'll send you like 100 bucks a month. Whenever I go to Mexico, I'll have like a nice lump sum. He's like, yeah, because we want to turn it into pesos, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, that'll be good. But then he's going to have well, a flag. Yeah, well, the Mexican peso is going up and down. Yeah. So I send my family like 200 a month. He knows. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the so bank, bank knows. So there's a have lot. You, have you heard about um, facial recognition system? Yes. Yeah. So FIS? Okay. So now I can know your social media in one second. If you don't even tell me your name is. So it links it all together, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you have a lot of um, social media you don't use or any information there like not up to date 10 years ago, just delete it or just remove everything. Just remove yourself from social media because but you're doing something under the table. I, you don't want anyone now, just delete everything but wouldn't that be a flag if you delete everything and not try to no. live a normal life you're just helping your life to become a normal person <laughs> you just make yourself mm. you know living life so, easier so okay so hmm. 
how would one get away with money laundering? Do you know? Uh, money laundry is washing money. Right. Dirty to clean money. Right. So saying, uh, Louis just gave me $100,000 saying, hey, Gabriel, can you do something? And then um, I give you a cut, 10%. Right. Just give me back 90000 yeah. So I don't care as long as you can clean that money for me. And I like, yeah, sure. So I got I got cash in my hand. What I'm gonna do to return the money? I gonna um, um, you know, invest ten thousand dollars in cryptocurrency. Okay, and then I gotta spend eighty thousand in a casino. So in casino they don't ask why you have cash. Right, but they still ask for my identification. Mm-hmm. So I still have to provide whatever proof I could get. So mm-hmm. what if I just gave them the casino they would ask now no you just walk in and start slotting oh with that what? machine or or in the tables in the tables they yeah the when you cash out you oh okay so yeah that'll when do. you cash out yeah you haven't cashed out no <laughs> yeah there's machines like have you been to what's that called the one in livingston have you been to the casino in livingston i yeah. have not do you know that there's a casino? In oh, he knows. No, I he knows that. everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I know the location thing. That, yeah, but yeah. So that it? machine, like you can cash out right there. With the like machine. you can cash. How much money you can cash out? Mm, probably not a lot. Like a thousand, two thousand. But like we that. are talking about something like a clean money. So I don't want to clean ten thousand dollars. <laughs> no. I want to clean like, um, you know, I impress. So like you were yeah. saying, so you went to the casino, you gave them eighty thousand, mm-hmm. then you cash out, and let's say you, you walk out with twenty thousand, and then the casino gives it to you. Mm-hmm. Now is it clean then? That's clean. Okay. That's a clean money. So now you can give him his ten back that he wanted, and then you have ten. Mm. That's it. If that's good. We're good. Everyone's good. Or the that's government's good. good. Yeah. It's good, but your ID was somebody's ID was My good. ID somebody's stuck compromised. There. Somebody, <laughs> somebody has to be compromised. Yeah. So it's just um because people are getting away with it every day. Yeah, but would you see them in ten years? Oof. Or where they end up to? I mean, they're getting away with it now, but those dots are starting to connect, mm. and before you know it. Mm-hmm. Before we before we beginning the topic, I know everyone just uh, getting so excited, but I think now we just kind of planning so much anxiety for everyone. Mm-hmm. Definitely, because I think I think that's how they get like um, people that that they sell drugs, even small guys that might be selling drugs at a low level. You know, all of a sudden they buy new cars, they have this, they have that, and, and you like. Where'd you get that car from? Oh, you know, just been working. Like, you work at McDonald's, boy. What do you mean? Like, so, you know? mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, it's very interesting because you see, like, you can only hide away so much cash, right? Like, let's say, um, you know, your average income, 80000 right, um, uh, a year average, you know. You have an average home, you know, and then, you start getting all this dirty money from somewhere, let's say drugs or let's say um, somewhere else, gambling. Where, wherever, gambling. Um, and then you're Rooster piling fights. up one minute, one million, two million, three million, four million, ten million. Where are you going to put this money? Right. You have to stash it. I think they going to bury the right. money. Bury <laughs> it. Or like Pablo Escobar. Put, yeah. Or yeah. put it in the, <laughs> along the walls and then the rats start eating it. Yeah. That's why like back in the days, uh, my grandpa never let me touch any war. Like everywhere in the house, or he never let me play at the backyard mm. because I love digging stuff. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, he's, yeah, he's gonna dig some money up. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. So I think so. The the basic idea is don't launder money. Or you have to getting smarter. But getting smarter than a hundred year old system, that's yeah. hard. It's hard, but that's why now we, because now we're living so fast just to run to to the dream or we just trying to crush everything to get what we get right to get what we want to achieve 
and we just forget. We just were, we was born with a bare food. We were born nothing on you. We mm -hmm. we have no clothes. We have no car. No house. Mm -hmm. We will die and end up exactly the same. Right. Right. So I just want to remind everyone, like, okay, we're making money, but you need to take care of yourself. You need to, you need to have, you know, a purpose every day. Right. You need to spend the money on purpose. I like that. So, if God telling me, "Hey, listen, it's enough," but I never hear what He's saying. Mm. I always see the signal. I I I only, you know, I just like. I feeling someone watching out for me. Right. So my purpose today, I come and see the podcast. Just like, all right, you pick me up on the street. <laughs> But I'm gonna tell you the purpose. I come here today because, like, I have purpose. Right. It's just like you. Yeah. It's like what we do here. You have to. You have to have purpose, no, no matter what you're doing, except for money laundering. Don't. Don't have a purpose so, for that. Yeah. Just be smarter. Are using one hundred dollars spending. On clothes or whatever, you mean Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, all that you guys see? Yeah, everything. We see everything. But nah. I yeah. thought I was slick. <laughs> my Cash App. I'll use my Cash App. So, should one should like a business try to keep it all legit, or should we understand that okay, you know, the government flags this, 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 the banks they all flag this, you know, but. I'm gonna go spend twenty bucks over here, and they're not gonna care. They're not gonna care. They're not gonna see it. Um, or should we be like, oh, I need a receipt. I, it's going. I need to make sure that this business is established. Make, it, you know, like how would we go about life if if like all these opportunities of like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna, you know. I understand. I mean, like, it's raised so much concern, like. Why spend small portion of money is still a problem. Mm -hmm. It's not a problem, but it don't add up to become your habit. And the machine learn how your habit spending. And one day it just pop up from nowhere. You have like you spend hundred dollars rather than twenty dollars right. a day. So that become a flat. Mm. So that's a bring Keep it constant. Yes. So that bring the system back to where you was, and then they start to analyze on this on the data become it come to my attention. Oh, okay. That makes yeah, kind of like what I said earlier. If you're, if you're growing your business, your 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 job it doesn't have to be a business. Your job, you're getting a raise. You know that five percent, whatever, eight percent every year. It's standard. But out of nowhere, you bought that Bugatti. Right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Or what about you started an OnlyFans? That's a business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I, I just make get two million dollars. That's right, because I'm getting um infamous. I'm getting. Popular, right. but, but but again, but that's going through a system that they can track. Yes, it's not like people are just throwing, you know, you're not your computer's not throwing out dollar bills, right? Like, from what I've heard, right? I've never that used it. it. <laughs> so it's like, I mean, it's like it's, it's like a subscription, right? <laughs> you subscribe. It's like the YouTubers. They subscribe. It goes from your bank account to their bank uh, through the system to their bank account, and that's so all tracked. So that's the hundred right. thousand that they're making a month, it's tracked. Now it's whatever she does after that, or he um, does after that. Or they and them. Uh, don't start. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. I, I, but that's all tracked. That's why I tell you, once you swipe your debit card, it's traceable. That's can't right. Lie, you can't hide it, you can't nothing. And it's just like our habit become our credit report, become our credit score, it's become our living style. So it doesn't matter how much you spend, how much you make. They just want a cut of it, oh, and of they just course. want to know where it's coming from. It's all a business. Yes. But hundred dollars to a hundred thousand dollars, it doesn't make a difference to them. No, it's just. It's just how you have it. It's just how you spend. You live in New York. Mm -hmm. You're gonna spend three hundred dollars a day. Right. That's normal. But you live in Conroe. Why you spend three hundred dollars a day? Sometimes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, good to know. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll, I'll uh, write that write down. That in my down. <laughs> <laughs> Luis, a hundred dollars. Yeah. So, it, like, um, we're building up our credit um, score every day. We try not to get everything impact to our credit score, right? Because we want to get 
a bigger dream. We want to have an open business or right. we want to have a Bugatti, house. You, you know, pay off the house. But no American want to pay off the house. No one. Because we want to, we love to be in debt. Yes. We love holiday. We love, we love vacation. We love money. We love beautiful things. Right. And I try to reference that American dream. Uh, that's my understanding. Yeah, that's pretty much what, what That's it what is. it is. That's what this is. Because right. we, I'm the migrant. So I came from ugly thing. I grew up with ugly situation. And I could imagine every one of us have, you know, have passed. And no one, maybe someone proud of the past. Someone doesn't. Right. So I can tell I'm not proud of my past. But to to migrant to the US that's you know, that kind of dream. But I don't know what this dream gonna take me to. Mm, right. But you know, I'm trying not you know, I'm trying not to shut my eye and work. Mm. I try to make decision every day. So right. I, I want to open a business tomorrow. But I still wanna make big money. But I still want to stay home. Right. <laughs> that's, so that's that's that's, that's what the, we're all in. That's the new American dream. That's the new American dream. So stay yeah. home while you're making money. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's what we call gold um, commerce. Gold commerce. Yes. I want a big business. I want to stay home. Mm-hmm. So everyone can look up for it. <laughs> okay. I like that. Yeah. But uh, that is the new American dream: is yeah. to stay home. And I think based on what you said, you, you almost have to be proud of your past, regardless of what it is, because. That got you where you're at now. And if you didn't go that way, uh, you could be different. Do you, you know, know a lot of people that stayed in the past? You know, like didn't pursue a better life and then their life didn't end up the same as yours. And it's like, well, we both started, you know, at the bottom, but they just, the decisions that they made either ended up in jail or ended up kind of just in their own yeah and does Louis just have a very good point mm-hmm. that's what we call decision mm-hmm. so if I decide to drink coffee it make me feel good but I don't try to drink water because it make me feel good later right mm-hmm. so it keep me go longer I like that that makes sense oh so God. that's my need decision more coffee <laughs> I'm need, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you need more coffee. No, but that's the, yeah. I mean, I think that's the difference in, in what you decide even now, right? It's like we tell people where you are now and what you're doing now is going to be where you're at in five years. It's going to be where you want to end up to. Right. So a lot of times what you're doing now, yes, it's for the now. But the main thing is where that decision you make today takes you in three years and five years mm-hmm. and where you turn around and be like, you know, if I didn't go back to school since I was making fifty thousand, or what were you making? Forty-eight thousand. Oh yeah, just working, the, you know, out of a high school. You high would have been degree. just been like, I'll just stick here. And then you probably yeah, that, wouldn't that be here. That place closed down. You know, the the job I worked before I I started um, going to school um, closed down because they were doing money laundering. The like, CEO was laundering money through the shelters, and. Um, yeah, they caught him. And mm. so so there, what happened is, like, he was doing money laundering. I don't know the details, but they came in, and they were like, we need to shred everything. Shred everything. So all the employees were sh- shredding, ev- like, you all too? the documents. No, don't I was incriminate already, yourself. I was already out of it. Okay, I good, was already good gone. Answer. Like, 2016, I left, and then they shut down, like, 2018. And, um... But they still had to meet payroll or they still had to meet their employees, but there was no more work. So there was a lot of people just standing around, had to be there for eight hours, just standing around, not doing anything. They didn't even have chairs. They didn't have nothing because they they had to get rid of everything. So it, it, it affects everybody. It does. It's and crazy. I'm really sure it makes damage. Yeah, 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 a lot of damage. Yeah. And People that depend and on and that if you work. go through that shelter, it's just like woods. It's like grass Where? 20 feet high. It's on 30, you know, what is it? League Line? League Line Road? And where? 
Legal Line Road. That's a long road. Uh, towards 45, towards the um, panorama. And how long no. was it? How long was what? How long was that happen? Like Four years the ago? money laundering? Yeah, money laundering. I don't know. But I worked there for six years. and So that could be 20 years back. W- yeah, because that, that shelter has been open, was open for a long time. Well, so that could be open in, you know, very good intention. Right. When they try to establish the business. So a, a idea to open a business is we want to do a great job. We want to help people going to work. We want to help people have the money. We want to feed bread. Mm-hmm. You know, right. we, 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 I want to, I mean, personally, like very easy for me to open a business. Mm-hmm. So I can like, you know, helping five people getting full-time job, five people gonna make $10,000 for me per week. So that's a win-win situation. Right. But later on, someone come in and say, hey, I gotta give you a cut of $1 million every month if you clean that money for me. I could not resist that. <laughs> right. That could happen to everyone. Right. And I think Louis just have a good point saying, that's what happened to his business. Yeah. So the money just go up like this and then pop up nowhere. It caught my attention. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to call up with CIA, FBI, and say, hey, listen, what's going on? And I done my job. I'm done. I did my report. I did whatever I could. Right. And then I got to hand over. Hand it over to the, to the, authority. to the authorities. That's crazy. So. I think our topic just getting more clearer mm-hmm. from beginning to now, yeah. and then everyone just have no idea what you know what to do. But I think if you want to open a, if you want to open a business, you don't have to do so much research. You don't have to, you know, to get consulted by the lawyer mm-hmm. or what to do. Mm-hmm. I think just two things. You know, what you open business for, how much money you wanna make. Second. Can you resist when temptation comes? Temptation comes. That's it. No. <laughs> yes. So <Yeah. laughs> we can shut the business before it happens. Right. Right. I mean, like, I love, I think everyone to love have, like, open their account looking like we have six figure in the bank. I don't know what that feels like, but yeah, I, I yes, can imagine. It feels good, trust me. It feels amazing. <laughs> Oof. It feel like we're living in a night cloud without worry. Because I see that every day. Because I'm, I, I mean, I see people at Cal got sick figures. I see that, you know, a young kid, 18 years old, got sick figures straight away. I see, you know, 20, 25 years old woman just married to a rich man, get that sick figure in one second. We mm. question that a lot. So, it's feel good, trust me. Oh, one day I'm gonna know what that feels like soon. But see, and I think the based on what you said, that's why when I opened my business, because I was so afraid of the I well, but now I, I should be afraid of the banks. <laughs> but I was so afraid of the IRS that I was like every penny that I made that came in, I would report it, write it, like you know what they always say, don't don't mess with the IRS, right? Like that's the one person you don't want to mess with. But now I guess don't mess with the bank system either. Because they're just yeah. going to go to... But I would report mm. everything. So like I think, like, the best way to do just try to reduce your debt. I mean, try not to get uh, yourself into trouble. Because as as long as you involve into debt, you still have to use the bank system. You have to use cash to pay for your credit card, your loan, your car loans, your personal loans, whatever it is. Right. So we try to use our money instead of borrowing money from the bank. And then, you know, you can clean your money Damn easier. It. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to fix my stuff so I can use the bank's money to make money. But I guess. Well, as long we stick to legitimate way, then yeah, we have no problem. Yeah, because you guys are gonna make more. But money. there's a difference between cleaning somebody else's money, right, and then cleaning your own money. Yes. But for the banks and the IRS, it's all the same. It's all the same, because we. Tax investment money also dirty money, right? Yeah. So you don't want to pay tax 
and then you try to saying, well, I gonna spend them on my kid money. I gonna spend on my my wife hospital fee. So you can get all the money deductible, mm -hmm. and then you can get it back. Right. Right. But what happened? They find out is it wasn't a true when you become a big CEO of whatever business you own, and then they trace back, and they're like, your wife never been to the hospital. Your kid never going to school mm. because why are uh, why you interest me now because you are the big CEO. So now we like will. Donald Trump. Oh, okay. So Trump wouldn't have a big problem to dealing to dealing with whatever in the past because he have so much people Sorry. back him up. Something ticking over there. Mm -hmm. What is that? Sorry, I thought it was going to be faster. <laughs> I think it's your water bottle. Are we in the Matrix? Yeah, I think it's the water bottle. Mm. This one. <laughs> <laughs> I found a monkey. Uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> about that. It was, it was really yeah, okay. yeah, this is all live here. Um, yeah, I lost train of thought. There. I think it's still. <laughs> 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 yeah, like if, you, if you just, the main goal here is if you start a business, do it for the right reasons. Report what you got to report, and then just just keep it simple. But and keep it. I think keep your debts down. I think that's important. Keep your debts down. I think I find it because I've learned through because I I never owned a business until like five, four, three, three years ago. Like I was you know always an employee, always you know just trying to be a professional, right? Trying to be a professional, the best that I can do at what I do at my service. And now that I own a business, even if it's a small business, like how do I, you know, allow myself to make the most money, but also get, a, not get away with, but like um, make it to where I don't have to pay as much taxes as, possible. you know, possible because, you know, the, doing it the legitimate way. <laughs> I mean that's <laughs> that getting so annoying to my ear like yeah. <laughs> oh, I think this there yeah. yeah oh okay yeah <laughs> it's been you that's the whole time that's where from that's it alright don't touch the table that's it alright here we go hello alright so yeah, so how do I um how do I create a business and create as much profit w and then also make it to where um because the the government wants wants their money, right? But there are there are ways to to get around having to pay so many so much taxes the way the billionaires do it, you know. So there there are two different um, two different business owner type so we have two types right so i'm trying to make it clear as like a small business owner can open a coffee shop mm. a being billionaire business owner could open a a design fashion clothes store yeah so you can see the huge difference mm -hmm. right but your coffee shop going to generate five position part-time full-time job yeah so a billionaire could happen like fifty thousand position right. into that store mm -hmm. so that's a huge difference so can you tell me which business could launch the money easier could launder the money easier uh -huh. the small the small one because we use cash every day coffee shop yeah. we use cash every day so Saying coffee shop, we we have POS system as well. We accept cash, right? So because cash three dollars or three dollar fifty, people you know have some penny to spend. But you're going to design a store. You're gonna spend like huge money. You not carry twenty thousand dollars in your pocket, right? So your coffee shop will be more designable for some money laundry. Mm -hmm. So what if you open twenty coffee shops? It's still coffee shop, still right? Coffee shop. So it's easier to money to yes. launder yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. 
So that's why that's that's why he's saying that's the one that's easier to launder mm-hmm. money. Right. And is that why maybe uh, was it last year that um, who's the who's your president? Biden. Biden. There you go. Thank you. Uh, that oh, Biden. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that Biden. I'm trying to forget him too. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, that's really bad politics. Uh, that Biden, you know, hired all these agents in the IRS to go over all these income tax to focus on the smaller business because he felt that there's a lot of money there that's that's not being taxed. That's not being taxed. Right. So I go back to the question Louis asked. So why the billionaire could get away with tax right but why they why why not a coffee shop owner mm-hmm. i think coffee shop owner they're doing smarter they get away with tax a lot mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like mo- because we you we're talking about the how much money they can get away but mm-hmm. how they get away the way they can get away so coffee shop owner c- could get away better than the billionaire right so because the billionaire need to launch the money around, so he need to open like another store, another collab business just to dump the money in, mm-hmm. and then it just lost in the black hole. Right. <laughs> so that's it how they can take the money back. Correct. Losing some, but they make a lot of money. Right, because the, the coffee shop can be like, let's say they're doing 20000 in sales, 10000 is cash, right? And they don't report all of it. Let's say they report five. So they're going to report, hey, we're doing 15000 in sales, when really they're doing twenty. Yeah. But because that cash has been hidden or whatever, then you guys might not see it, and then the IRS might not see it. And then you're like, eh, 15000 is about what, what the coffee shop makes. Mm, that's right. And that's, and that's what it is. Compared to a millionaire or a billionaire, they know that these big companies make big money. Mm-hmm. So they expect them to have that money. They already knew it. Yeah. So what if, what, yeah. So let's say the coffee shop is, you know, like Ray said, you know, trimming off a little bit. You know, let's say you're trimming off, trimming off, trimming off, trimming off. There's nothing that fluctuates in that you catch it and it's just trim, 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 Mm -hmm. trim, trim. Then you're good. You're good. Until that 5,000 in 10 months is 50,000 and then they go buy a car Mm -hmm. for 35,000 or 40,000. Then they're like... Where, where that forty thousand? I mean, come? like when we, when we get well, when we getting closer to our dream, we, we want to make it big. faster. We want to go big, go yeah. big or go, go, go on. Yeah. So, yeah. if I only have one million dollars, I would get you know, I would get my myself a Bugatti. I would get a you know a beach front house. Mm-hmm. I don't want to, you know, just go to Houston and just buy a very basic house, mm. right? Mm. Right. And there you go. I caught you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, like, it's, it's... But what if you just want to live a normal, comfortable life and just trim a little bit and just live comfortable? That's, that is, that, that's what he was saying. That's why, you, 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 know. you do it, like, normal. Yeah. Like, but then you just live a basic life. But Exactly. But nobody who... That's what he said earlier. Who wants a basic life? Who want or who want not? No, it's good. Who wants oh, okay. a big ba- basic okay. life? Everybody wants that high end. So once you, s- mm-hmm. that's what we talked about here. Like even that's the issue that I had, right? Once we start making money, me that I wasn't used to making money, then I want to buy more stuff because we don't know how to spend it. I think that's it was when we, when we had the crypto guy here. That's right. Right. That he even he had to learn how to spend his money because he didn't know. He was like, I make money, I'm gonna go buy stuff. I'm gonna go buy shirts, even if it's right, right? If it's not laundering money, but then you're just buying stuff when you didn't have it before but their system will show oh well, look he has a business that's been growing and before he was a broke kid that did a bunch of small mm-hmm. businesses so so you just trim a little bit and live moderate. live comfortable, live comfortable. Yeah. i mean nowadays we should live smart we should we should consider ourselves safety because no one do care safety how Safety from anything can attack you. You can safety from money temptation, safety from how you live your life, mm-hmm. and safety how you're gonna spend your money, and okay. safety on how you save your money, and safety how you're gonna sleep mm. at night. I like that. Mm, I like that. That's so, true. because That's like it's just like why the drug dealer he can spend like money on money um, on the design clothes on whatever money he could spend right but 
because he got nowhere to spend the money. Because he don't know how to save the money. But what if he saves too much money in the bank? So that's why they always have a good life. But you know, it's never long life. Correct. Mm-hmm. Just like I said earlier, I mean, I knew a guy. Same thing. He w- he had a real good job, real good job, probably hundred k a year. But he was selling mm-hmm. drugs. So he bought his mom's house with his good money. But then he was building his house, and he bought like a brand new truck, and then they got him. So then they took all his stuff and his mom's house. Yeah. That's so like, how we trace money. Yeah. yeah. So like the drug dealer, the pimps, like they can only buy up to a certain amount because they 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 wouldn't be able to buy a house they wouldn't be able to buy um properties they would have to figure out a way to do that so all they can spend on is like cars and clothes and fifty thousand dollars on whatever we can say yeah, yeah because the the big stuff is they can't because they'll get caught right yeah exactly so i just want to send a message to you know to young generation or just for whoever younger than us or maybe <laughs> we are age. the younger yeah i think we are, are the youngest yeah, here we're still, we're still younger. <laughs> um so don't frustrate don't don't put yourself down when you say people have the good stuff on on them mm-hmm. because you never see what going on you never know what going on right so some people just get frustrated right. why he get why he wear the designer clothes spending thousand mm. dollars but i just spent one hundred dollars or even target ten dollars for a shirt mm-hmm. but remember we just you know as long we look good we smell good Shower. we're happy <laughs> yeah because yeah. 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 I mean, like you said earlier you don't know where they're going to be in 10 years no yeah. in 10 years you'll still have your your nice little house your big and they'll be yeah yeah that's right yeah so like um for someone to like oh so they don't know what to do in their life i mean how about we just set up um a a little plan saying okay what are gonna do in six months how about you taking seriously shut on your media social media shut everything on your phone and focus on your on your dream maybe your dream in six months you want to lose um you want to lose 10 pounds 20 pounds so that's yeah i know (laughs) i got that problem too (laughs) (laughs) so so we make the little small plan every day mm. and you can see yourself bigger in 10 years mm. yep what about okay i know that we're wrapping it up but it's like it's such an interesting topic you know because as an immigrant we come here we don't have any any papers like if we come undocumented you know illegally we have to launder money like literally that's what we have to do like we can't we have to get paid cash you know all that cash you can't deposit in the bank because you know you get tracked you have to go to these checking accounts stores and you know cash your cash your check with a one dollar check but you you still give your that's the one thing interesting i see in the mexican show like i saw that happen a lot and i Mm -hmm. didn't know what is it and now I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we're smart. I, yeah. I I saw people holding a, a stack of checks and um, mm-hmm. just gave it over to a cashier and they just get a, you know, right. cash. And like, oh, that's so smart. And right. I, I didn't know what's going on because... Yeah, because yeah. you're part of your shady banks. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so we live underneath the system, right? You have all these banks, all the, all the system... And then you have all these tracing and accounts, but we don't have uh, an identity here. We don't have so we don't have a social security. I feel that we don't have uh, ID. We don't have a driver's license. Uh, so the government helps us, and they they say, okay, go and get this ID so you can use it to show who you are, which is it's like a matricula, which is like an ID, but for Mexican mm-hmm. people. Okay. Or Central American or yeah, whatever. It's not government. It's yeah. not government issued. It, it, it's not it's government. Country. Yeah, it's from your country. They give you one, and then they accept it here, so you can. Um, it's mainly just dr- to identify yeah. yourself. Yeah, identify some, yourself, some or maybe get a drink, or yeah. you know your age, or maybe like um, cash a check, things like that. Because some banks don't take 
uh, non-government That's issued right. yeah but there are some banks that do right. yeah as long you can show your proof of address or where you live right and or a bill or something like that yeah. but then at that point you're on the system yeah so you that you decision you want to own a system or not if you want to own a system then yes right mm. but we're already in here illegally so we're not honoring any type of system on you don't want to because we're we're here illegally that's right right so we don't want to be part of any system so what we do is we take cash we pay things in cash you cash checks in the convenience stores and you just stay at it everyone's way and then you make money but then you have some of these contractors making 300 400 500 thousand a year a million a year they're paying all their houses and everything cash and then you see them they have huge houses with nice cars and everything paid cash but they're all but they've never been identified right that like you said at the beginning we, they never they never opened that account it's like what he said the younger would you say if you're at 35 and you're like you come into the bank hey i'm 35 ready to start you're like who the hell is this guy <laughs> we don't know who he is never heard anything how he right. spends and that's right and that's why like um i like the the idea from the bank and encourage us um, encourage us to open a kid account mm -hmm. so let them grow let the money grow for them or whatever money you make you can put into trust account mm -hmm. saying you make one hundred thousand dollars and you don't know what to do with it put in your trust account because we're not gonna tax your hundred thousand right. dollars on your trust account it whatever happened to you shady happened to you that one hundred thousand gonna be safe we can't pull that money because that trust account so, mm. so we need to know these uh, that's all you had to say <laughs> to be. Yeah. yeah so there, i think there's a lot of ways that it's like okay like there's a lot of you know like how can you it's like fraud tax evasion how can you stay in a legitimate realm where it's like you don't get flagged for tax evasion and you don't get flagged for fraud just you be know? transparent yeah, but then the government Transition takes all your money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, the government takes all your money. It takes all the taxes that you should. They don't tax on everything. Right. So what don't they tax on? You know. So they normally tax on you know a commerce or whatever they could tax like ser services. Mm -hmm. They don't tax on food or business food. They don't right. tax on um, gas and yeah. you know. So those are your write offs. That's what you. Yeah. And yeah. you know, I love the idea, like I, so in Australia, I met a um, very successful businessman. He's, he, he is the lawyer back in the day. So he worked for, um, at the chamber for 25 years. And he just decided one day he going to open a business with hit billion dollars. And he just opened 10 coffee shops, two different restaurants right at the front, uh, right at the beach. So we like why you why why you decide to do is completely different to what you know what's your background why why you feel so confident because just say life is just too short mm -hmm. and I feeling so short every day mm. and I like okay so what about on the money you make you are gonna pay tax everything I say no <laughs> that's my money why I have to pay tax so I, I like it's give me a wake up call I like. Yes, he's a lawyer. He's still smart and he's still trying to get away with tax. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing wrong to get away with tax, but you have to be smart. Right. Mm -hmm. Why he opened that 10 coffee shop, two restaurants, they the same hospitality, they the same thing. But he's just like, what he do? He got one coffee shop, very, very famous, and the rest of it just dead. Mm. And then very one biggest popular a restaurant and the other one dead so yeah so i can't tell you much in details about that he it keep him running for 10 years up until now yeah that's good and i guess that's what i found out the other day there's a restaurant here in town and that restaurant's negative and they're like well if your main business is doing is keeping this one alive why keep it alive he's like because it's my business it's nice and it's also an expense that my other business has right so it's like the this one is busy 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 this one's barely getting by so this one has to let this one borrow money all the time so because he need to pay say we have no idea what how much he pay because mm. maybe he have to pay rent expenses 
um, stuff and everything. Maybe he put it why he could be, become a staff then. Mm. And he paid twenty thousand dollars a lot, but in real life he only paid five thousand. But because he wanna wash another fifteen thousand, mm. so that become clean money. Mm. But in the long run, it'll catch up. He's on catch up. His wife, his kids, gotta be fine, but they don't catch up to him. So, <laughs> so you <just> he's all <laughs> confused. <laughs> so just yeah. do it for a little bit and then <laughs> and quit and then do it again later. <laughs> or does he? I think that the only way, or we just send all the money back to Mexico. Mm, yeah, just send it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I have a bunch of money in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, record. like, um, that's maybe very, um, you know, we have the same culture. So right. We have, yeah. like, the branch and branch and the family members. There and, you go. We're the brand. Know. We just know how to work. That's yeah. the thing about us. Yeah. This whole business thing is new to us. Because yeah. That's right. Yeah. Our families just work, work, work. And then, you know, me growing up is like, I just got to work. I got to, but now mm. in the, I'm in the middle of transitioning where I don't have to work, work. Now I can become a business owner and, like you said, be home and make money yeah right and be smart with your money because you can there's a way where it's like okay you're making so much that you're laundry money so you're like hoarding all this cash or the other way around it's like you're not being smart and you're paying all these taxes and all these deductions and all these things where you shouldn't you don't need to be mm. doing that's what sucks um so it's like how do you stay in in the middle legitimate and still grow and still scale that's 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 hard because mm. if you go one way, you mm. lose all your money and all these deductions and things that you shouldn't be paying because you you should have been smart and you should have gotten an LLC and you should have gotten W twos and a trust and all these things. And then the other way is like, oh, you don't, you launder all your money. Mm, that's right. Yeah, no laundering, guys. So I I actually learned something today. <laughs> there you go. Don't launder a lot. Don't yeah. la- don't launder that much and get a trust fund. Yeah, I think, and that's one thing we said the other day. That's where I'm at, where I need to learn how to do this whole trust thing, right. because now I know that like my trust can own my business, and then I can put money there, and then it's a tight. But it's just sometimes it's too much, and I just want to work and make money. Yeah, but, but it's, you have to learn the system. We need to learn because yeah. you don't want to, you know, you don't want to end up in in the grave, and you feel like oh, you wish you could do that. You wish you could learn that. But I mean, like we just keep walking. I mean, that's not fair for us. At the, we are the modern man. We should be smarter. We should look after ourselves before someone else. There you go. So as long you're happy, you be in control, you be in power. The rest of your family will feel the same because they don't feel like you're being bullied and going home overpower them. So mm. you need to be a man who's smart who know what's going on before it comes to attack your family. So you're not going to work hard, you know, 9 to 5 or, you know, I, someone I, I call 48 hours working. I know we have 24 hours, but you just work, you don't know. And you just like wake up in one day, you're 50 years old and you're just so dumb. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? I just, yeah. right. I just freaking... Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So you got to get your head out of the the ground and look up and become aware I yeah think we i think should, yeah. Awareness stop looking at the phone so much yeah <laughs> uh yeah i think that become habit everyone just happen to everyone yeah. but i mean like you know when to drop your phone and you know you know right it's like you know that you have to work out you know you shouldn't eat that stuff you know you should learn you know what you should and should yeah. be doing i i actually like w- I, I watch a a little uh, reel on Instagram the other day and you know it's just so smart where people are trying to count how much calories they eat mm. in, the f- in the fast food mm. and how much they pay that actually you know equivalent saying they pay $10 and they just actually just took in 1000 calories into the body mm-hmm. that's say, wow I should I could save that $10 and I also save myself from 1000 calories into my body you know that's a lot so So you save both ways you save both ways you make the right decision but it's so much easier to just drive by the drive by drive through drive by drive through (laughs) and then uh spend 10 bucks yeah it's easier why get up early and cook yeah i know or 
maybe just make the smart decision. If you feel like, if you feel like a burger, just get a burger yourself because you you you, you know, you deserve it. You you work hard, but you know like maybe you eat the whole, you eat the whole thing. Let get a half of it. Yeah, that's what you I do. What I do is I usually take the bread part out. That's it. There you go. I still feel that like I have. My, I still had my burger. Yes, and I I'm still happy, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks, everybody, today that stopped by. Thank you so much for joining us. I feel like we learned a lot today. We did. We did. You're welcome. Yeah, we'll definitely have to bring you back again some other time and just keep going into it. Um, we're grateful to have you on here. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Peace. Bye.